My next patron question is from Joshua, who is curious about the perception of two Robin Williams films based on real people. There's something I find confusing when it comes to two of my personal favorite Robin Williams movies, both of which are based on true stories, Patch Adams and Good Morning Vietnam. Patch Adams has been widely panned by many people, basically because it's apparently not an entirely accurate portrayal of the real person and story. Good Morning Vietnam, meanwhile, is a far more inaccurate portrayal of the real person and story, and yet, that does not stop it from being one of the best movies of Robin Williams' career. What's your take on this, and what do you think of both films? That is a fascinating question. Looking at both films, I think the difference between the issues people have with them comes from how they present the people Robin Williams is playing, as well as how the real-life inspirations felt about those films. In the case of Patch Adams, the real Dr. Adams hated the movie for how it distorted his medical philosophies. Reading up on him, Adams' ideas mostly come down to feeling hospitals should be more welcoming places, which I agree with. He also feels medical care should be free to patients, which is not a radical idea, as universal health care is something practiced in many countries. But the movie seems to think his whole method boils down to laughter is the best medicine. There's nothing wrong with bringing some levity to the profession, but the film flat out ignores any proper medical methods the real Adams likely partook in. There's also that whole issue of inventing a love interest for Adams, which is typical Hollywood screenwriting, but the insulting part is they took the death of a real person Adams was friends with and gave it to his fake girlfriend. That whole part just feels like a cheap way to create some extra drama. However, my biggest problem with the film is how one-sided it is. Characters like Adams' roommate and the dean of the medical school are painted as villains for not agreeing with Adams' methods. There's a scene where the film tries to paint the roommate as stuck up because he takes his profession seriously. Why am I supposed to hate the roommate? I have no idea why, but the movie wants us to because he studies and wants to be a good doctor. Same goes for the dean. All we ever see of Adams is him goofing around with patients and the other medical students. But we're supposed to root against the dean because he's super serious, I guess. The movie does not properly show us why Adams' methods are so much better than the other doctors. It instead paints the dean and the roommate as one-dimensional antagonists, instead of showing why both methods have a place in medical practices. I actually don't hate the film like others do, as I think Robin Williams gives a good performance, and it's not a badly made movie on a filmmaking and technical level. I just think it suffers from its simplistic readings of different methods of medicine. With Good Morning Vietnam, a lot was also changed from Adrian Cronauer's experiences as a radio DJ during the Vietnam War. Why are these changes less scrutinized than the ones in Patch Adams? Well, for one, Cronauer himself was okay with the departures from history. He himself was the one to pitch the idea to studios, first as a television sitcom in the style of M.A.S.H., then eventually as a movie. He mainly thought there was an interesting story to be told about a radio DJ trying to improve the morale of the troops. When Williams was cast in the role, the project was seen as a good fit for him to let loose on a bunch of improvisations. Cronauer openly talked about the inaccuracies on his speaking tours, including that if he had done half the things his film counterpart had done, he would have been immediately court-martialed. But he never talked about the historical differences in a disparaging way. He saw the film just as a comedy vehicle for Williams, and that the character he played just happened to share his name and his former profession. I think another key difference between Patch Adams and Good Morning Vietnam is that with Patch Adams, the real personality it was portraying was a doctor trying to save lives. Adrian Cronauer, on the other hand, was just a disc jockey. Whatever jokes Williams makes in the film are never at the expense of the soldiers who risked their lives in Vietnam. Then we have the supporting characters in Good Morning Vietnam. The personalities are a bit more fleshed out in this film as opposed to the ones in Patch Adams. Yes, the military men, played by J.T. Walsh and Bruno Kirby, are serious and not amused by Cronauer's antics, but the film nonetheless understands why they take their wartime duties seriously, and that their annoyance comes from a general lack of understanding of good comedy. 
We also have the Forrest Whitaker character, who does find Cronauer funny, but also attempts to follow regulations as best as he can, and he's not portrayed as being in the wrong for doing so. Ditto the General, who is supportive of Cronauer, but still feels he can go a bit too far with his actions. Really, the director, Barry Levinson, used Good Morning Vietnam as a place for Williams to record his trademark improv sessions, and those scenes, edited down from many hours of footage, present the highlights. That the rest of the film is really good and well written is a nice bonus. But those are just my personal interpretations. It's always a tricky balancing act when trying to depict a real person's life and how much you stick to it. In the end, it comes down to the execution, and I think Good Morning Vietnam better executed its ideas and themes than Patch Adams did. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for this excellent question, Joshua.